Here we have an iPhone 8 that came in for no power. Phone does not charge and does not power on. We currently have the motherboard out. I have a battery connected and I have a charging flex connected. Let me show you what happens when we plug the charging cable. Big Boss already went over this and he said it does not power on or charge. The screen on the charging station or the amp meter shows black, nothing. So I have the cable plugged in right now, as you can see. And if you look here, nothing, black screen. Black screen is an indication that we have a short on the motherboard. It's not able to supply any voltage or amperage because of a short. Most likely a short on VDD main or a major line on the motherboard. Let me disconnect the flash cable and the battery. I worked on a similar phone last week. I posted a video where we had a short circuit on a capacitor on the motherboard. If you recall, iPhone 8 that we worked on last week had a short circuit on this area. We replaced the chip. That did not solve the problem. And it turned out that we had a short circuit on the capacitor. I think it was this one or the one above. And that's VDD main. Meter in diode mode. And we're going to test to see if we have a short on VDD main. I mean, a black screen on the amp meter is a very good indication that we have a major short on the motherboard, likely caused by VDD main. And do we have a short? And we do, you see? I knew it. Right now, what I'm going to do is inject voltage at the shorted cap. And we're going to monitor the motherboard under the thermal camera and see what gets hot. And that's our ground probe. If I apply voltage at the cap, look at this, 4.9 amp draw. So we have a major short. Let's take a look under the thermal camera and see what is getting hot on the board when we apply voltage onto that cap. Okay, so right here, we're gonna apply voltage right over here. And what is getting hot on the board? Oh, look at this, all the way to the left. I'm applying voltage right over here at the cap, VDD main, and something to the far left is getting hot. Something right over here. Let's inspect and see if there's anything obvious here. Maybe a discolored capacitor or cracked capacitor. Right now, nothing is obvious. It's going to be hard to pinpoint which component is causing the short. But what if we use our atomizer pen? What if we apply flux powder on this area? We'll inject voltage. And then we can see where flux melts first. That would be a great idea. The atomizer pen looks something like this. We're not going to use it to smoke, but rather we're going to use it to dispense flux powder onto this area. And then we're going to inject voltage at the shorted cap and we'll see where flux melts first. Now we have to break some rosin off this container here and this is like a rock. So I'm going to heat up rosin a bit. I broke off a piece of the rosin right over here and we're going to place that piece right there and close the container. And that's actually the hardest part about using the atomizer pen. We have to break off a piece from the rock solid rosin. What I do is I heat up rosin until it softens down a bit. I grab some, it hardens and then I can use it. I can put it inside the atomizer pen. That's what I do. I do not know if there's an easier way, but this is rock solid. Right, so now to activate the atomizer, press five times. And then we see the LED blink. And now we're going to press and hold. Right, so we're going to apply rows and flux like this. And the atomizer pan must be vertical. Just like that. Let's go under the microscope. So as you can see, we applied rosin flux powder right here. And now what I'm going to do is inject voltage at the shorted cap. 
and we're going to see which one of those components is causing the short because the thermal camera showed us that we have a heat spot in this area and the shorted capacitor VDD main is all the way right here so I'm going to inject voltage right here and see what gets hot let's see And look at this, look at this, look at this. <laughs> right there, this guy, right here. You see? I mean, it cannot get any more visible than this. It's this guy right here. That's the guy that's causing the short. That atomizer pen is amazing. Really amazing. I love it. Let's put it on the side. And we're going to remove this component and see if that will fix our problem. Right, so it's the fifth cap from the left. And this is the last time you're going to see a bad guy like this one. So say hello to my little friend. Let's see, do we still have a short? Do we still have a short? That's the question. Meter in diet mode. And do we still have a short on VDD main? And the answer is... Wow. Wow, the short is gone. <laughs> the short is gone. Look at this. The short is gone. Wow, we did it. All we have to do is reassemble and test. Big Boss is not here, but what I can do is I can plug the screen, the battery, the charging flex, and test. Let's see. And why is the fume extractor still on? Off. Right, the screen is connected. The battery got disconnected because battery connector is on iPhone 8 and 8 Plus are a nightmare. Charging cables plugged in. Ta-da! The phone is working. That's awesome. That's awesome. <sighs> really awesome. So that's it. We're going to end the video right here. The atomizer, along with all the other tools that we use in the shop here, can be purchased off our website. Just log into northridgefix.com. Click on shop. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.